are way out in the distance. Closest to any other club can boast his five titles for both Zamalek, their fellow Egyptians, and TP Mazembe. Nearly ready to get going. Match official, the referee, Jindo Louis Ungandande, with the coin in as a substitute in the last game after the injury to Yasser Ibrahim. He remains out, so it's a slightly different looking back four. Rabia alongside Abdel Monem, still Ali Hussein Al Shahat in with Percy Tal. As for Yanga, Looks like it'll be a 4-4-2. We'll see exactly how they line up once they get going. Dixon job joined in defence by Ibrahim Hamad. The fullbacks, Domalisa and Atahule Yao. Chosen by Miguel Gamondi. And we can see there, experienced coach. Come with of the number seven, Maxi Zengele. So referee blows the whistle and away we go for Match day six, a final doable for Baloo's dad. They could have conjured up a big win in their final game, but that fourth goal finished the job for Yanga. Nadu with the all important goal. Joseph Gede Nadu in the 84th minute. He's rewarded with the start here. As mentioned, coming into the starting 11. It's been a bit of a stop start, first 15 minutes, but is it going to get underway now? The ball into the middle from Malul is turned home by Percy Tao. But the offside flag had already gone up, the whistle had already blown. It was a brilliant ball into the box from Malul. Simplest of tasks. It was Malul who the flag had gone up against, though. I think the right decision, perfectly weighted ball. Tao with the easiest task of poking home, but it won't count. Malou's run just a little too early, or the pass just a little too late. See a yellow here, and we will indeed. Saw the impact. It was a little late from Joyce Lomelisa. Uh, catching clearly from Torfi because he cut inside. Studs are up, they weren't going. Well, here's a chance for Modest. It was straight at Jiggy Diara. Not working the keeper. And see, he perhaps knows he should have done better there. That's the kind of chances he lives for. Played through on the edge of the area. With space and time was on his left. Take two for Malou. And it tricked a few in the crowd. Well taken corner, not short this time, straight in, finding Abdel Monem, who nearly complimented his strong defensive work. There's some strong work at the other end. Headed into the side netting. Not far away. Give Diara the benefit of the doubt. I think he had his near post just about covered. Change of pace is nice from Zuzua, who's still going, still going, all the way through. It was Chauvet out to save the day in the end for the headlock. It's a bursting through in on goal. Speaking of which, down the other end, it's Modest in on goal. The ball across the area was too far ahead of Percy Tao. Al-Shahat turns, skids away from Hamad, goes down. 
just outside the box. Al Shahat thinks it should have been a penalty. And certainly the contact was outside the box, so may have fallen into the box. It's the first point of contact that counts. You can see clearly there. It was only takes a while to be taken. It's taken now though, and it wasn't bad. Malul, it was who struck it. Decent pace, just didn't quite dip enough. And of course, also helps him up the goal tallies. One of the club's best free kick takers. Fortunately for him, even if Al Akli dominated the possession. And now all square and with everything to play for in the final 45 minutes of who put them in this position with the only goal of the game a week ago. Gets the opener again here. El Shahat makes it 1-0. And they're bouncing in the stands now. Catching young Africans napping. Great ball over the top. Good speed from Ali Malul. Well, he set up the disallowed goal in the first half. This won't. Absolutely no question of offside. It was El Shahat who sent him on his way as well. Great vision to pull it back and return the favour. Complete the 1 2. And no mistake from El Shahat who gets his second goal in two games. Finding a gap between all the yellow shirts between him and the goal. None of them was Jiggy Diara, who was stranded, having come across to try and narrow the angle for Malul. Said he likes an assist. Leading a likely to their 11th Champions League side. Ball into the box was a good one from Pakom Zuzua. It will be taken this time, though. It's into a good area. Headed away by Tony Modest. This time, showing his aerial prowess in defensive terms. That's another good ball in, though. It was volleyed over. Kennedy Musonda. Well, he said about that being his bread and butter. Would have backed himself to score there. Not quite far enough in the corner. Great curling ball in from Marwan Atia. Modest met it true. And it was close enough for Diara. Comfortable enough as he parried it away. Second time when they go at it again. Being tracked. Step for step. By Ibrahim Ahmad, who has to be careful. It's in towards Modest again for that one. Goes up in the air and out for a goal kick. Modest, the right smile. He thinks that decision should have gone the other way. As we cut back, it's nearly breaking for Percy Tau in the... But it will find the 